This video will walk you through everything you need to know to get the most out of this powerful DRX3 leak detector. From basic power operations to advanced settings and wireless connectivity, we'll cover it all step by step. Power and Navigation Basics To turn on your unit, press and hold the power button for more than one second. You'll need to allow the warm-up process to complete before you can start detecting leaks. While we've shortened this for the video, the actual warm-up takes approximately 50 seconds. You can press the power button briefly to toggle the blue backlight on and off. This feature is especially handy when working in low-light environments. When you would like to power the unit off, simply press and hold the power button again to turn the unit off. Keep in mind that the DRX3 will automatically power down after 10 minutes of inactivity, helping preserve battery life. Sensitivity Levels Now let's explore the DRX3's three sensitivity levels, which are crucial for pinpointing leaks in different environments. Your DRX3 starts up in high sensitivity mode by default, and this setting works perfectly for most leak detection scenarios. To adjust sensitivity, simply press the sensitivity button to cycle through all three options, high, medium, and low. You'll always see your current sensitivity level displayed at the top of the LCD screen. Start with high sensitivity for your initial leak detection and general area scanning. When you need to pinpoint exact leak locations, but you're experiencing excessive triggering or sensor saturation, switch to medium or low sensitivity for more precise control. Tech tip, high sensitivity is incredibly powerful. It can detect leaks as small as one gram per year when you're stationary and three grams per year when you're moving, making it the most sensitive setting for finding even the smallest leaks. Mute function. The DRX3's audible alarm is definitely helpful, but there are times when you need to work quietly. To activate the mute function, press both the zero and sensitivity buttons simultaneously for less than one second. When muted, you'll see a mute icon appear in the status bar at the top of your display. Even with the audio muted, all your visual indicators remain fully active. You'll still see the flashing LED at the sensor tip and the numerical display with its bar graph. To turn the audible alarm back on, simply press the zero and sensitivity buttons together again. Refrigerant and gas selection. The DRX3 can detect various refrigerant and gas types. Here's how to select the right setting for your specific job. Press and hold the refrigerant button for one second to advance to the next refrigerant option. Continue pressing and holding the refrigerant button to cycle through all available gas options. Your choices include A1 and A2L gases, H2N2 tracer gas, also specific A3 refrigerants like R290 propane, R600A, isobutane, R600 butane, R50 methane, and R1270 propylene. And for heating gas, there is natural gas, propane, and butane. Once you've made your selection, that setting will remain active until you manually change it again. Zero modes. Understanding zero modes is essential for accurate leak detection. The DRX3 offers both automatic and manual zeroing options. The unit starts in automatic zero mode by default. In this mode, the DRX3 sets a new zero point approximately every three seconds. You'll know it's active when the selected refrigerant blinks in the message line. This blinking indicates the unit is creating a new reference baseline or zero point. To toggle between auto and manual zero mode, press and hold both the zero and sensitivity buttons for more than two seconds. When manual zero mode is active, you'll see M0 displayed on the screen. And when you switch back, you will see A0 displayed on the screen. Now back to manual mode. In this mode, the DRX3 won't zero automatically. Instead, it will continue to alarm and display relative leak size until you manually zero it. To set a new zero point manually, simply press the zero button. Auto zero is perfect for initial leak detection since it continuously adjusts to changing ambient conditions. Manual zero gives you more precise control when pinpointing exact leak locations because it maintains the same reference point until you choose to reset it. Maximum mode. 
The maximum mode feature is incredibly useful for tracking the highest concentration detected during your search. Press and hold the max on off button for more than one second to activate maximum mode. When it's active, you'll see max appear on the display. The unit will continuously record and display the highest leak size detected during your search. The recorded maximum value gets cleared automatically when you change sensitivity settings, change refrigerant selection, or manually zero the unit. To exit maximum mode, press and hold the max on off button for more than one second. Tech tip. Maximum mode is particularly useful when scanning large areas where you might miss a brief high reading. It captures that peak value so you can return to investigate that location more thoroughly. Job link connectivity. Wireless connectivity with the job link app. Nothing needs to be selected in the tool, it is all in the app. Open the Job Link app on your mobile device and select measurements from the home screen. In the Leak Detection section, tap Link Tool and select your DRX3 from the available devices. Once connected, you'll be able to view the relative concentration of refrigerant gas from 0 to 99 units, complete with the numerical leak size indicator and bar graph right on your phone screen. The Job Link app offers several powerful features for documentation and reporting. Select Log to record your measurement. Select Tag to record a note such as location. Tap the yellow circle with the three dots or the Options button in the bottom right corner to create a detailed PDF report that you can instantly share with your customers. This wireless capability transforms your leak detection work from simple measurement to comprehensive documentation and professional reporting. Mastering these settings will help you get the maximum performance from your DRX3 refrigerant leak detector. Remember that different situations call for different configurations, so don't hesitate to adjust settings as conditions change during your work. Thank you for watching and happy leak hunting.